Uh, I was just going to quickly mention the, the high drama that was going on down lower Manhattan uh, yesterday afternoon, which will have been Tuesday afternoon, 31st October, when um, some naka, some garage pot, flowed a, a truck, some sort of truck pickup, I think it was, or uh, a van at least, a delivery van, into a load of um, bike, bicycle, uh, cyclists and People push chairs and stuff down Lower Manhattan near the World Trade Centre. Uh, I was uptown when it happened actually, I was up in Midtown. And I, no one up there had any clue how it happened. The first annual people were sending us messages and texts and notifications on Facebook saying, Are you alright? You alright? Anywhere near what's happened? And I'm like, I don't know. And I was mentioning to other people and I was saying, You heard what's been going on downtown? And they're like, Oh no, what's happened? When it came out, I think it was all over very quickly. Because I think the first reports where he ploughed into people in his vehicle, uh, then got up and started shooting people. That was, I think, the first reports. But I don't think that was right in the end. He had ploughed into people with the cops, got him, shot him in the leg, put him down, arrested him. But um, watching the local news on the TV in that in the hotel and, and talking to people uh, by last night. It was a crime scene, all being caught up as a crime scene. Uh, but people were basically just getting on with it. Um, there was Halloween parties not planned down there last night by the local residents and that. And street things going on. And from what I've heard, from what I've found out, everything just went ahead as planned. Uh, people are saying, you know, it was, a, it was a terrible thing that's happened. And eight people have uh, been killed and I think it was 11 injured. Also, uh, last I heard, I think the five, five of the ones that were being killed were Argentinian tourists. But I was down that neck of the woods yesterday morning, as it happens. I don't think I was quite exactly where it was, but I was in that neck of the woods, you know. So, you know, it's, it's really, really sad that these people have uh, been killed and injured and that. But the sort of general feeling seems to be New York has. They'll deal with it, but they've got to get on, you know, they've got to get on with the stuff they've got planned, they've got to get on with their lives and all that. And yeah, you can understand that. Um, but it was nice that a lot of people got in touch with us, were concerned. But I was actually, when it happened, I was actually nowhere near it, that area at all. Like. But uh, the, on the news and everything, and even on the streets, people were saying, well, yeah, it's very, very sad what's happened. It's, an outrage, really, it's an outrage that this idiot's gone and done that. But it's not going to stop New Yorkers doing what they've got to do, doing what they've had planned to do, just getting on with things, like. And that's the way they've dealt with it, you know? It'll be a crime scene for a while yet, I would think, like, but things, um, things are just moving on. People are just getting on with their lives. As it, uh, I think it was a bit, maybe a disruption, a bit panic when it first happened. But it's just now, right, let's get on with things. So there's also like a, there's a big sort of feeling around here you get that, you know, saying, you know these these people aren't going to stop us, you know, they're not going to not going to disrupt our lives, they're not going to ruin things for us, you know, we're just going to get on with it, like. And uh, hats off, hats off to the people around here for that, you know. You've got, to, you've got to get on with things. If you, if you spent your whole life and your whole time worrying, oh God, is something else going to happen? Is this going to happen? Is that what's going to happen? You'd never leave the house, man, you know? So uh, hats off to New Yorkers in general for getting on with it, getting on with stuff.